waste your time. Here's a no BS guide on how to stand out from other men. Rule number one, focus on your goals. One of the most common compliments I receive from women is about my unwavering focus on my goals. Unlike those who judge attractiveness solely based on external factors like appearance or clothing, I maintain a steadfast dedication to my objectives. This resolute commitment often leaves an impression of intelligence, making it difficult for women to discern whether I'm projecting an alpha or sigma persona. But here's the catch. When you're in the company of women, deliberately diverting your attention away from them to emphasize your commitment to your own pursuits can be a powerful tactic. However, it's essential to be mindful of your actions. For instance, while strolling around, you might sneak a peek at your reflection in a mirror, revealing a lingering interest. Even when you're online, you might intentionally hold back from messaging that special someone. Now, let's explore the consequences of this approach. When you attempt to conceal your inner struggles in this manner, they can sometimes seep out and become apparent to others, possibly even reaching the person you're interested in. Women possess an innate perceptiveness, and while men may assume they can convincingly act disciplined, many women have an inbuilt sensor, a relic of our evolutionary past, that can detect when someone isn't genuinely focused on their goals and appears somewhat desperate. In essence, our actions are often guided by a desire for pleasure, and we subsequently attempt to rationalize them with our minds. However, if you find yourself doing this, it's a sign that your focus isn't truly on your work. Instead, it's fixated on what you believe women find appealing. To address this, it's essential to delve into your psychology and understand the deep-seated motivations driving you. Through visualization, repeatedly remind yourself that you're not merely putting on a show to impress women. Your actions aren't solely geared towards making women swoon by appearing hard at work. Rather, your work holds paramount importance above all else. Number two, balance. High-value women who themselves embody balance typically don't gravitate towards individuals who are excessively aggressive or overly soft. They prefer someone who strikes a harmonious balance between strength and gentleness. This entails being kind and considerate while also possessing the ability to stand your ground when circumstances demand it. If your goal is to stand out among other men, it's crucial to keep your aggressive side in check, neither too hard nor too soft. Adaptability is key, allowing you to respond effectively to varying situations. Males, in particular, have been endowed with physical power and distinct psychological traits. Research into personality consistently underscores that females tend to exhibit greater empathy and emotional sensitivity, qualities that can prove advantageous in challenging circumstances. Therefore, stability often emerges as the deciding factor. Number three, shoulder more responsibility. This forms the core of my message. If you aspire to grow, extend a helping hand to others. Your skills and ability to contribute to others are directly tied to the responsibilities you shoulder. For example, if you're the youngest in your family and your siblings or parents, notice that you're the first to start your day with work or study, consume healthy meals, and proactively address issues at home, even without support, you'll earn their respect. This isn't dependent on your age or status. It's about taking responsibility and going a step beyond what others your age typically do. Simply observe what your peers of the same age are doing and aim to do slightly more. Engage in tasks that others tend to shy away from and strive to stand out. Number four, increase your earning potential. You may come across comments under my videos suggesting that everything else is irrelevant and only money matters. This perspective is often held by those who haven't achieved financial success and may lack a broader perspective. While money undeniably plays a vital role, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Let's consider two individuals, both significantly wealthier than the average person. However, one of them, despite his wealth, has never visited the gym, lacks charisma, confidence, social skills, is miserly, and has no sense of fashion. The other wealthy individual, in contrast, embraces life to the fullest, maintains a great physique, interacts effortlessly with others, enjoys hobbies like golf, takes care of his appearance, and possesses a keen fashion sense. Between these two, who do you think will have more captivating stories, 
greater confidence, higher attractiveness to the opposite sex, and garner more respect in society. Importantly, who is more authentic? Transforming into a unique and compelling individual doesn't necessarily require a perfect physique, fashion sense, or flawless skin. What's imperative is maintaining high standards and continually striving for personal growth. Don't confine yourself to a low standard where you believe there's only one path to success. Be wise and cultivate a lifestyle that encompasses not just material wealth but the richness of life itself.